Hey there, this is a quick introductory video to help you decide if you need to watch this tutorial or not. So basically this tutorial is going to be making a blog website, but this blog is going to be relatively simple in its functionality. The beef of this tutorial really will be in setting up your development environment with Vue or Angular and setting up server-side rendering and utilizing Webpack and basically all the project setup that is really can be really complicated at times, but once you get get it right, your development experience is really optimized and it's like a, you're just blazing through it and you have this like euphoric experience, right? So quickly watch this introduction if you want to decide this because if you're a beginner, this video is probably not going to be for you. But to quickly go over it, we're going to build a blog in .NET Core. We're going to then uh, slap view on top of it with some Webpack and uh, we're going to set up our development environment and everything is going to be fine and dandy. So then we will uh, basically build the front end using Vue. We will uh, proceed to setting up server side rendering. So again, this is part of like uh, all this like hard setup stuff for uh, your project, right? So once we have set up uh, the server side rendering, we will basically take the .NET Core blog part out of it, everything that we can reuse. We will pull it out of that project into a separate project and I'm going to show you how to then basically reuse that code with our Angular project, right? So we're start we're going to start with one project and then we're going to end up with three projects by the end of the tutorial. One will be the blog functionality, the second one will be the view application and the third one will be Angular. Okay? And both of these websites are going to be blogs with server-side rendering. So once we have pulled the application out, we're going to repeat the steps that we've done for Vue, but we're going to do it with Angular, but it's obviously because this Angular is going to be completely different. So that's basically the plan for this tutorial. And you shouldn't watch this tutorial if you're a beginner in either .NET Core, Vue, Angular, or Webpack, because I'm not going to go over how these applications work. I will basically skim over what I'm doing just so you understand it but I'm not going to basically explain or give you a tutorial on how these works. I'm, this tutorial is more about the architectural significance and uh, how to set up projects and uh, how to basically enhance your developer experience, right? So you should watch this tutorial if you already know these technologies and you want to expand your knowledge. And uh, if you don't know anything about server-side rendering, that's an actual part that I'm going to be explaining. And uh, if you want to... Again, just learn more about uh, architecture and separation of concerns and uh, code reusability. This will be a very good tutorial for you. And remember that throughout these videos, I will remind you that I'm not going to be explaining everything, uh, but I will link uh, videos to the tutorials where I do go in depth about certain functionality. Like my blog uh, uh, tutorial, I already explained a lot of .NET Core functionality in there, and then my uh, view series. I actually explain a lot about Vue and uh, Node Package Manager and Webpack and Vue CLI 3. So it's a, it's a very, a, a lot of series, but it covers all of that. So if you watch those two, you will be sound with um, a, a view part of this uh, tutorial. But the Angular one, you will have to go watch it somewhere else. 